NBC News' Sahil Kapoor is on the Capitol Hill with the latest. So what can we expect specifically from the Mayorkas impeachment trial? What might that look like? A lot of potential impeachments going on right now, Yamish. On the Mayorkas impeachment, the House is finally going to transmit those articles after voting to impeach the DHS secretary on April 10th. As you pointed out, the next day, uh, Senator Chuck Schumer, the majority leader's office, said senators will be sworn in for that trial. We know the impeachment managers include 11 members, including uh, a couple of committee chairs, including Mark Green, the Homeland Security chair, as well as some far-right allies of Trump like Andy Biggs and Marjorie Taylor Greene. The parameters of this trial are very much unknown at this time. It's up to senators in terms of how to draw this out, uh, whether it's going to be a full-blown extended trial with evidence submitted and, and uh, you know, senators considering all this stuff, or whether they might vote to dismiss it early. This is a possibility. It's something that the Republican Senator Rand Paul tried to do in the, in the impeachment trial of Donald Trump. It fell short of getting the votes to dismiss, but Democrats control the Senate. They have 51 votes. If all those 51 uh, members vote to dismiss, then this could be dispensed with very quickly, very early, and there's some signs of hope, uh, you know, for Democrats that that might happen because Senator Joe Manchin, the most conservative member of that Democratic caucus, told me a couple of weeks ago that he finds the Mayorkas impeachment ridiculous uh, and he would vote to dismiss uh, if that were to come up before. And Zahel, of course, there's also the other impeachment inquiry, the one, of course, against President Biden. Right now, it looks like Republicans might be preparing to end this whole inquiry with a whimper. Um, how is that looking? And could you explain what's happening there? Yeah, what's happening basically, Yamish, is that Republicans don't have the votes right now to impeach President Biden. This is proving to be a much heavier lift than was the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas, which was not easy. They squeaked that through after failing the first time around. But uh, James Comer, the House Oversight Chair, who has, who's one of the leaders of this impeachment inquiry, has been hinting recently at a potential off-ramp from actually voting to impeach Biden. Republicans are not going to bring this up if they don't have the votes. It would be futile. It would be an embarrassment to them. And what Comer has been saying in fundraising emails to supporters is that Democrats would block this anyway, even if the House does vote to impeach President Biden, that Democrats would do what they've signaled they'll do with Mayorkas, which is kill it on the Senate front. And Comer has instead hinted at the possibility of instead issuing criminal referrals. He's explicitly said that he hopes Donald Trump gets elected president uh, this fall and that he appoints leaders to the Justice Department who would act on those criminal referrals and prosecute members of what he calls the Biden crime family. It's extremely unusual to see a prominent American officials say they hope one person is going to get elected so he can prosecute specific people. But that, that's where we are right now, Yamish. That is where we are all. So thank you so much, Sahil Kapoor. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.